Hi everyone, this is me Abriti from How to Electronics. Today I will give you the product review and tutorial on pH sensor from Atlas Scientific. This is an Atlas Scientific pH sensor kit that I purchased from Amazon for one of my hydroponics project. Before this, I made a detailed tutorial on two different types of pH sensor. One was from DF Robot and the other from Greylogix. Compared to earlier version of analog sensors, this is one of the most scientific and accurate pH sensor as it has UART as well as IU2C interface. So in this video, we will cover the following tutorial about the Atlas Scientific pH sensor kit. We will go through the basic introduction and details of pH electrode and signal connectors board. We will also learn about the ASO pH circuit board. We will check the buffer solution in which pH electrode is placed. Then, we will go through the different solutions used for pH sensor calibration. In the project part, we will interface the pH sensor with Arduino with both UART and I2C mode. We will learn the method to switch from UART interface to I2C interface or vice versa. We will then do the calibration of sensor using all three pH calibration solution. Then I will show you how to use ASO pH library. In the final section of the video, we will design a portable pH meter using OLED display and then test its performance using some liquids like water, milk or any standard solution. This video will be very interesting as you will be able to learn most of the things related to the pH sensor kit. So watch this video till the very end. For now, without wasting further more time, let's get started. Do you want professional PCVs like this one that looks so good? Then use the service of Next PCV. You can select the board size, any soldier mask color that you want, including something like red and green. You can select the thickness, and the PCV could be from 2 up to 20 layer for more complex design. The finish quality is so good, and if you want better connectivity, you could also select some gold finish for the pads. The ordering process is so easy. Just go to the nextpcv.com, then cut now. Insert your design settings, upload your Gorber files, and order now, and then receive the PCV in a couple of days. Welcome back again. Now let's see the PS Sensor Complete Kit. This is the Industrial Grade PS Sensor Pro for pH measurement. The sensor is developed by Atlas Scientific or Environmental Robotics. This is currently the best PS Sensor available on the market. This is the PS Sensor Pro with a gold-plated PNC connector at the end. This pH Pro features quality construction and a rocket epoxy design, making it suitable for repeated use in lab and field environment. The sensor comes with an in tip kept in a buffer solution. For using the sensor, you have to remove this plastic packed bottle filled with buffer solution. When you remove the cap, you can see the electrode. The bulb can handle low ionic and ultra pure water readings, including high pH solutions, and also the samples containing heavy metals. This electrode is based on the potentiometric pH measurement principle. You can see the construction diagram of this prop and the silver wire or silver chloride solution filled in it. This combination will read the pH value in voltage. When the sensor is not in use, dip the sensor in buffer solution. Do not keep this tip exposed to air and the soaker bottle is used to prevent the bulb from drying out. This is another packet that contains the signal connector board along with some screws, knots and jumper wires. This is an isolated carrier board for signal conversion and noise filtering. At the center of the board, there is an integrated circuit. This integrated circuit emphasizes low jitter and low phase noise to maximize data converter performance. There are 6 pins headers for connecting another integrated circuit. And these are 5 header pins for power and UART interface. To read the data, you can use these TX and RX pins. This is an amplifier module for current conversion. And at the back, the TX and RX pins are converted to SDA and SCL. This board is also the part of signal connector board. It is called as the ASO pH circuit. The ASO pH circuit can work with any of the self pH proof, sensor, and electrode. This device reads pH from a pH proof sensor and electrode. This is insulated from all sides with epoxy resin. This board has an LED that indicates the communication protocol type. The ASO circuit board can directly be fitted on an isolated carrier board. 
The pH probe also needs to be connected to the signal carrier board using the BNC connector. This is the storage solution commonly known as a buffer solution. The solution is used to store the pH sensor tip and prevent the bulb from drying while not in use. Similarly, we get a pH sensor calibration solution with the packet. This contains two pouches of calibration solution with each of them value as pH 4, pH 7 and pH 10. At the back of the packet, there is an instruction to use the solution. Let me open and show you what is inside it. So, these are the pouches in red, yellow and blue color. Finally, these are what you get when you order the PS Sensor Kit online from Atlas Scientific. I have attached the Amazon link in the description from where you can purchase these packages directly. Remember, the PS Sensor electrode, storage solution and calibration pouch, all of them are needed during use. Let's also interface the Atlas PS Sensor with Arduino. You can interface the sensor in UART mode using TX and RX pins. For UART mode, follow this connection. And another way to interface the sensor is using the I2C mode. For I2C mode, follow this connection. Now the question is how do you identify whether the sensor is in UART or I2C mode? So there is a color indication LED. If the LED color is green, then it's in UART mode. If the color is blue, it's in I2C mode. So let's change it from UART mode to I2C mode. For this, connect the TX and RX pins of the sensor to pin 2 and pin 3 of the Arduino and connect the power pins to 3.3 volt. This is my connection directly with the Arduino Uno board. The LED is green in color means it's in UART mode. We need to change this to I2C mode. So here is the simple sketch from Atlas Scientific. We are using a software serial library. You don't need to make any change to this code. From this tools menu, select Arduino Uno board and the COM port to which your board is connected. Then hit the upload button. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor and select the baud rate at 9600 and enable the carrier's written option. Type I and click on send. I mean information. So an OK message will appear like this. Now to change to I square C mode, type I square C comma 99 or anything between 0 to 127. I will use the default I square C address as 99. Then click on send. So now the sensor is changed to I square C mode. At this moment, the LED color will change to blue. So the wire combination will not work for I square C now. So remove the TX RX wires and connect to A4, A5 of Arduino board as shown. The A4 is connected to the SDA pin and A5 is connected to the SCL pin. So here is a sample sketch for this. Here you have to assign an I2C address to the sensor. Again select the board and port and upload the code. Open the serial monitor. The monitor will not display anything as this code doesn't work well. But this can be used to change the sensor mode from I2C to UART. Type I and send. So a success message will appear again. Now type bot comma 9600 and hit the send button. So you can see the LED color changed to green again. Now let's just see how we can do the calibration. Here are three pouches of pH solution that you get with the sensor kit. Put the solution in three different classes. The red one is the pH 4, the yellow is the pH 7 and the blue is the pH 10. You need to remove the sensor cap and put the probe in the standard pH solution. In the code part, we will use the UART mode code for calibration. So upload the UART code and then open the serial monitor. Now put the pH electrode in the pH 4 solutions and then wait for the readings to get stable. It took 5 minutes for me to get the stable reading. Now in the box, type CAL, low, 4 and then hit the send button. So the sensor is calibrated for pH value 4. Now remove the sensor from pH 4 solution and rinse it with water.
then put it to this pH 7 solutions. In this box, again type CAL, meet, 7 and then hit the send button. So the sensor is calibrated for pH value 7. Repeat this again with pH 10 solution. Remove the sensor, rinse with water and put it in pH 10 solution. In the box, type CAL, high, 10 and then hit the send button. So the sensor is calibrated for pH value 10. The I2C code didn't work with the sensor. So it's better to use the ASO library which will give you a stable reading. The GitHub repository for this library contains so many examples code, you can follow the code if you are developing some systems. Meanwhile, I'll just use this library to read the sensor value in I2C mode. For this, enable the I2C mode of the sensor and use the correct wiring again. So here is the code which starts from the ASO I2C library. This is the default I2C address. You might change it if you like. Nothing needs to be changed in the code. Now you can upload the code. Open the serial monitor. So the sensor is giving the correct reading once again. Alright. Now it's time to make a portable pH meter by adding an additional OLED display. The OLED is also an I2C module. So the I2C connection remains similar to that of pH sensor. I used a breadboard to do the connection. Only 4 wires are connected to the Arduino Uno board. That is 3.3 volt, ground, SDA, and SCL pin. The code is again the same, but this time we have added the SSD 1306 and GFX library. And in the bottom part, we have printed the pH value on OLED screen. After the code is uploaded, the OLED will light up with the value of the pH sensor. Currently, it's showing the pH around 4, which is the value of the storage solution. It's time to test the pH sensor now. So here we are having 5 solutions. 3 are default standard pH solution of 4, 7 and 10 and other 2 are water and milk powder solutions. First, rinse the sensor. While rinsing, the OLED will display the pH value of water which is lesser than 7. After rinsing, put the sensor in pH 4 solution. The OLED will display the reading as 4. Do the same thing for pH solution of 7 and 10. For pH solution 7, the reading will be around 7. The reading for the pH solution of 10 will be 10. The pH for milk powder solution is lesser than 7, which indicates milk is acidic in nature. In this way, you can measure the pH of different solutions. You can find more information about the sensor and a detailed guide in the website article of How to Electronics. If there is anything that you'd like to ask, comment down in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.